Stars make every player on the team better. Michael Jordan, his ability to challenge himself, his natural ability physically of being able to play with such great energy, his intelligence, basketball intelligence, all those things I think were remarkable. I enjoyed coaching Michael Jordan because he had a respect for coaches and he had a desire to play at a peak level and he's willing to follow instructions without uh, you know, wanting to over dominate the game. Even as a young player, there were times in the fourth quarter where he would make up the difference in a ball game on his own. I had to bring Michael in my office and say, Michael, when's the last time someone who led the league in scoring won a championship? Thought about it a bit, he said, Rick Barry. I said, yeah, that's right, in the 70s. But it's very rare that person that wins a scoring championship is also on a championship team. So one of the things we're gonna do is we're gonna move the ball around and we're gonna take the spotlight off you all the time and involve the other players on your team. He said, oh, you're gonna have that equal opportunity offense. Well, what's gonna happen when the 24 second clock gets under five seconds? We'll coach the players how to get the ball to you in that particular time so you can activate the ball. Save that terrific scoring ability for the fourth quarter. He laughed and he accepted the, the uh, responsibility. And the other thing that we did is we moved him from a guard to a forward position. We really wanted to win the game, the series in Chicago, game five, and we lost this game and we flew out to Utah to play the sixth game and Michael said, we're gonna end it tonight. You guys get ready for this ball game because we're not going seven. Going into the game, we kind of knew what we had to do to win the game. You had to play close, but come out and win the game in the last five minutes. The timeout that I did take uh, with about 40 some seconds to go. That was the key because knowing Jerry Sloan and having coached against him many times, I knew that if we could go down and score and make it a, a one possession game, that he wouldn't call a timeout. We'll run the open. Dennis will you know, run a pick or set a pick or slip a pick, depending upon what Ostertag does. And Michael, you can double back on Malone if you have the ability. You saw the crowd rise Behind that whole activity, you could see the, the anticipation that they had that this was a crucial moment. Michael changed the, the idea and pulled up for the jumper instead of taking it to the hoop and uh, finished it. We called that season the last dance, and I thought, you know, for an ending of a career, there could have been nothing sweeter than what Michael had just done. Quickly. Do we do that, sir? Take a shot. What time is it? Game time! Move! Every great plot has its twists. Game five of the NBA Finals was no exception. In fact, it may have shifted the momentum in the series. Michael Jordan was hitting the back of the rim all night. Meanwhile, Paul Malone finally found his rhythm. 39 points. And he had help, most notably from an unlikely source forward Antoine Carr. Called upon in the second half. Carr had five attempts from the field. He made all five. Chicago couldn't close it out at home. So we're back in Utah for game six. Coming up next. Twilight over the century-old Utah State Capitol building. Just above downtown Salt Lake City. Mike, the only reason oh no already no i didn't even mean to do that of utah's adjustments in game five the screen and roll is a big part That's... of their offense they went away from it instead they posted Carl malone inserted antoine Carr, who gave them another shooter so that shit out of here doubled they could kick the ball to the yep. open man let's go let's go and for chicago in game five oh, got the, oh, coach oh, coming up big 12 he had 30 points like 12, right? jordan and pippen and I missed could it. not Fuck get the 12. going Fuck 12, dude. we always talk about long way is at the fives the forwards scotty pippen and tony kuko and the guard roll. positions a jazz it's adam keith and carl malone inside Brian Russell at the three and also Mr. Postman the Mr. Postman get Rodman and Longley early foul trouble 
Here's Malone. <laughs> and foul. Whoa. Now, God, here's Jordan. Has to Jordan. That's shit, man. Get a pick. Just get a around pick. a minute and a half into the first quarter. And one. And the call. Right. Mr. Stop Postman. Mr. Postman. No He'll normally convert on that. Scotty, get a ball up. You got the defense got ball. lucky. Ooh. Outside Harper. No assist. Michael Jordan on the wing. Oh, look. One a sec against Jordan. One a sec. Give me that shit. Stockton. And a big game five for Take Tony Kukoc. You know, Clark, he made as many shots in just go, go, go. 13 attempts as Jordan. Hey, what? And Pippen. Hey, Come on, John. What are you going to do, John? Oh, you're right. <laughs> nah, Malone fuck that shit. Go do it, dog. Stockton. I'll take that. I'll take that. And that's a strong defensive effort Oops. to force the miss, especially against someone of Broad and capable, and we're used to thinking of Michael Jordan as superhuman, but... He's now in his 30s playing big Jordan inside. Oh, go, go. He's guarded by Russell. Let's go. And he gets the whistle. Oh, Two free throws coming up. Point, assist, assist. rebound, <laughs> defense. <laughs> Scotty Cooper gives the team all of that. Every team really goes to the line. He's made one pitch. Jim for the Jazz to Anderson. Oh, we can't do that. Here's though. Malone. And he tries oh. off the glass, but it's no good. Get three point shooting throughout this series. And you know, Mike, in the Mr. Postman. Oh, 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 Anderson outside. Here's Malone. Here's Carr. And the dunk by Carr. Well, they'd essentially been playing four on five and then made the adjustment in the second half of game five to play Antoine Carr. Right back at you, He's been a 20. Kicks it to Anderson. Shoot it from right there. Pass to Malone. No way. Once again, Chicago grabs the miss. We're not having you know, that today, You know, his scoring sir. has just Mr. been able this quarter. Ooh. I'm not Ooh. sure what the issue Thank is, you. but his team is doing what they can to try and we'll get him. take that on the loan. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Mm -hmm. First free throw is good. And Burrell is a solid mm -hmm. role player for this team. A strong physical quality plays with confidence. Defensively by Kerr. Big bang. Oh my gosh. With the finish left in the tank to get it done. And these Bulls have to feel like the time is now to close out the series. They do not want it getting to a seven. And you know what, Kevin? If it got to that point, all the momentum would be with the Jazz having battled back from down 3-1. Oh, the Bulls got to play like this is the game seven here. Oh, once again, you've mapped it out well, Clark. Seems to me, Clark, like the Bulls doing a pretty good job of containing the terrific Clark. Carl Malone. Well, you're saying the same thing I'm seeing, and after his big the priority list. Here's dump, Jordan, dump. and Jordan throws it. Just five on the clock. Here's Malone. Uses the glass to finish the way. And a screen on Curry. Curry against Stockton. Jordan with the steal. He stole it right back. And, check with the steal. and the Utah Jazz not getting a lot from their center position in this series. Both Greg Ostertag. Well, I love the way he goes after it there. I mean, you got to respect that. That's a foul. For his efforts of pursuing the ball. Jazz trail by six. Russell passes to Malone. What a terrific move that was. Recall the trade deadline deal that almost brought Center. What the Ronnie fuck Stanley am I doing? Orlando. Boy, he could have really. That's helped. a moving oh, pick. This dude. It. Stockton looking around. Four on the shot clock. Over Curry. Let's go, Curry. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. So Mike, the mailman, Carl Malone, as intended, Mr. Doing Postman. Inside. 
The Bulls lack anyone who can really slow him down in there. The Jazz making Mr. a switch. Mr. Postman. Keeps checked. Thank you, Kevin. Now, if you asked me what was the most important regular season game, undoubtedly it would be the one in midseason here at the Delta Center. The Jazz trailed the Bulls by 24 points early, but they rallied to this series would have opened and ended in Chicago rather than Salt Lake City. Back to you guys. Yeah, good point, David. Thank you. It was that win that gave Mike Utah the playoffs. The Bulls have lost four of their last five on the road. They know they've got to get busy and Shoot handle call. their business now. Hornets They're not playing outside. close to the players. I don't like that. Fires the three. Chicago grabs the miss. Utah still struggling from deep. We Dummy. saw it last game. One for the record books. History in front of our eyes. You're right. Pass to Stockton. It's stolen by Rodman. Cloak loose. And in this MVP battle so far, Michael Jordan is coming out, I think, coach on top. Yeah, Paul Malone not the having the same ball. impact as MJ. That's been a factor. And the Jazz with some changes. Morris comes in for Brian Russell. And Isley subbed in for John Stockton. Chicago also making some changes. Longley comes in for Rodman. And Bushler subbed in for Scotty Pippen. The Bulls leading by six. Here's Jordan. Longley passes to Harper. Michael Jordan on the wing, guarded by a key. Is that a foul? And not just Scottie Pippen dealing with a bad back, John Stockton also dealing with back issues. So with Rodman on the long way out there, Tony Kukoc. Then it's Pippen, and it's Jordan in at the two. One and what? Between the Bulls and a forever legacy. It's so difficult to slow down when he gets that fire in his eyes. So far, he's hit all of it. On the glass. Chicago leading by seven. Here's Jordan into the lane. You see why they lead. Hornison feeds it to Malone. And it's denied. Hard to shoot on the seven foot two. Longley getting all of that one. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. If you're talking about the size comparison between these two teams, the Bulls are a lot bigger on the perimeter. Yeah, Harper and Jordan both six foot six. Curse checked in for Chicago. Shoot that shit. Shoot it. Malone looking around. The kick out to Anderson. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Malone sets the pick for Stockton. The pass to Carr. Carr, shoot that. Five to shoot. Pass to Anderson. Here's Russell. They grab their own miss. Malone passes to Carr. To stop the run. With the putback. Goes up again. That shot. Oh, off the that. Thank you. Some solid defense by Rodman. And you look at Carl Malone. Six foot nine. Russell. To the paint. Here's Malone. And the jam by Carl Malone. Malone does not mess around down low. And Clark, you talk about defending Malone. Dennis. That Rodman is a guy who never backs up from that. <laughs> no, he doesn't. And stolen Tell by me. Jordan. Big bang. And Jordan. Get up right now. Down low. Here's Malone. The basket is good. The alone. Six to shoot. Over Hell Rodman. Hell no. And with that, the Chicago lead is to Carl Malone. Just teasing it, teasing it, teasing it. I don't think you can... Stockton passes to Malone. Come on. Over Rodman. And no Sight. Good. Trying to use the glass. The Bulls leading by 15. Oh, and they oh. double up Jordan. Wait. Passes it to I got to hit Jordan with something. That they ain't going to let me do it. the ball around. They ain't going to let me do it. Inside. Out to Kuko. Hit the shot, Kuko. Again, Chicago. It all comes down to this. And you look at it. John Stockton, 36 years of age. Carl Malone is... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is this their last best chance at a title? Even with the score where it is, he just keeps coming. 
And Stockton at this point is the deep runs that he's been part of. And at this point, all he wants is a oh, race. It's a he's going to the Hall of it's Fame, but you're right. This is good. Look out! Bang! <laughs> oh, he's size. He's 6'7 and 225 pounds, and he's got good athleticism, too. Really makes him the best defensive teammates appreciate Jordan, him you need to get in the post, buddy. his body. Just a gritty defensive play. You need to get. Oh. Come Harper, on. the pass to Jordan. Elbow shot. That's good. He's made that time to. Jordan kicks the pivot. Jordan, get back in the post. Get back in the post. We're doing phase with you all day. Okay, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Here's Jordan. Ah! Did you see him back away from the rebound? I'm talking about Scotty Pippen. Nick Stockton outside. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Ask a heart. Come on, Jordan. Get back in the post, Jordan. All of doing is fade away. Half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. Ooh. Here's two. Wow. Rebounded by These pussies don't oh, double team me, then I may be successful with a fadeaway shot. Drop, Mike. Well, they've had a lid over the basket for a while now. Indeed. My guys, what are you doing? Here's Hornacek, and, and it's blocked by Jordan. And he recovers it. This will find Malone. Just four to shoot. Why would I jump? And the jam by Carl Malone. Mr. Postman. Right now, when Malone catches fire, he's hard to put out. We're going to try this again. Outside Harper. Yeah, and there's the pass to Pippen. Here's Jordan. Yo, they are fucking. And the Bulls with another miss. I don't and understand why they keep double teaming me in the post. That is the weakest the shit. They trail They're not going to catch up anyway. We have one minute and 30 seconds left. On the wing, Fuck out of here. I'm trying to. Covered by Long. What are you doing? Stockton kicks let, him alone. Let him see. That's good. That was nice so ass. Touch angles. Whatever it takes to remove yep. the shot. Thank you. I was getting ready to shoot. Coming up okay. and they call the shooting foul. It's on Jeff Just Hornacek. Add more points Jordan. to that man's score. <laughs> Whoa. Good, Jordan. Keith is checked in for Carr. How much I got? And so Jordan nailed on Harper. Stocked in the best. Get that shit out of here, it's buddy. Pippen with it. He's picked up by Russell. What the f? Jordan is double. Yo, they won't. And here's Harper from the arc. And no good. The Jazz go the other way with it. Give me Jordan that shit. With the steal. Give me that shit. Give me that Landed shit. By George Dunk from him I've ever seen. All right, Simply let's commentate this. Hyper. That was basic compared to the Dunk's really good. Free throw line dunk. The cradle. Are you are you high, sir? Not a piece Get that of shit it. out of here. Do it again. Do it again, post man. Just three to shoot. Mr. Post, girl. In the hole. Oh, yeah, yeah. Relax, relax, relax. On the wing, Jordan. He's guarded by Russell. Jordan, the pass to Harper, Thank and you. he gets the bucket. Oh, they have shown up at just the right time, putting the finishing touches Mr. on this Mr. Postman. Game. This absolutely closes the door on any chance of a surprise ending. That'll do it. And the uh, foul. And the Chicago Bulls win their Yes, you're in this. Let's see what it says. Earn 45 stars in the Jordan Challenge. Without question, Mike, one of the greatest dynasties this league has ever seen. Six championships in eight seasons. A decade of dominance. The 90s have belonged to Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls. And this title run for the Bulls, arguably, Clark, their most difficult with age and injuries and even some palace intrigue. But for the moment, merely jubilation. You covered it all there, Kevin. What a remarkable run. And now we'll just have to wait and see David whether Stern? they decide to run it back one more time. This very well, though, could be the final chapter. And that was the last dance.